people often felt that I was being either harsh or cold or they thought I was angry. Um, but actually, I was just thinking, and I didn't realize the signals that I was I was putting off to other people were were putting them off. I really just needed a little bit of motivation to kind of round off my personality so that I'm a friendlier person and I'm better at meeting people, particularly girls. I was married for 13 years and uh, I went through a divorce. I was afraid of my ex-wife coming back to me and I'd be afraid that I would take her back because of my limiting beliefs. Uh, I chose The Art of Charm because I've been listening to the podcast for a while and it was the most informative and also the least seedy and by far and away the the one that was most aimed at improving your life in general, rather than just with girls. The Art of Charm seemed like the one that was most based on being your genuine self and not about gimmicks or not about tricks or skills that are unrelated to having a real connection with people. Uh, I tried the game concept from the book where I painted my fingernails, I pierced my ears, and it really felt fake. And I wanted to just be comfortable in my own skin to be able to go and talk to girls. When I booked on, I was a little skeptical initially just because it was, uh, for me, obviously, it's in another country. Uh, I'd never been to an America before. And the idea of going on something like this was a little bit sketchy at first. But when I arrived and once I finally got into the building and met everyone, uh, all of that already kind of disappeared. I had a blast, man. L.A. was awesome. There, There's a lot of great people to learn from, a lot of cool guys to chill with, and I had some fun uh, out on the strip and meeting some nice young ladies. It was, it was great. Totally wasn't what I expected, you know? Uh, the guys that I met there, originally I was, I was a little, I would say, timid, you know? I was just, like, kind of not really ready to open up to them. I mean, by the end of it, uh, you know, I consider those guys my brothers, you know, and I, and I wasn't expecting that and I was so glad that I met all those dudes. And on the third night, one of the uh, infield coaches challenged me to go and sit down at a table with three girls who were sat down and engage them. So they were all sat on a, on a square table, there was one seat free, and I went down, chatted to all of them, engaged all of them, had got a really good reaction from all three of them, went back to the coach and uh, he told me I should probably go home because I was done making two career transitions in my life. I had career coaches both times and they're both, oh, yay, positive. And what I really needed was AJ to get up in my face and tell me, you know, I, I was expecting every interaction to go bad and that's why I was having the bad results at first. I absolutely enjoyed the program. I made great friends, a bunch of great guys, um, and really had my, my eyes open to a, a new world of how life could be and how Social interactions don't have to be a scary thing, they can be kind of a fun adventure. And I'd say anybody from college kids, married guys, military, non-military, average working Joes, uh, corporate types, everybody comes in and is, is on the same level. So you all work through things together. I remember when I came back, my friends were like, I don't know what the hell you did in California, but I'm so glad that you did it because you are such an awesome person to be around now. Heck man, the world's changing. You need to be a charming person. You need to be out there networking, getting to know people. You need to be positive. It's no longer okay just to be harsh and insensitive and still get away with it.